Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at another rank one in the world team here from I think a Japanese player that uh, was running this team here. This is Liki Tango Lead, the say swap of the Dragonair and also the um, yeah, Altaria in the back, a very bulky Pokemon there in general in this team. Kind of similar to a team that I showcased early on in this cup where I also went in a crazy rent streak with basically yeah, a Lantern in the lead, which is also kind of helpful to counter those um, Frosters. And I used a safe of Shadow Kingdra instead of the Dragonair, but the Dragonair would have been a different option for it. Here, yeah, first game, we're going, going to encounter two Ice-type Pokemon, which is going to be very tough to deal with for this team. Um, it is just something that is definitely a little bit tricky for this team, Ice-type Pokemon in general. While Frosters usually would lose against the Lickitung, it's still not really the best matchup, to be fair. Let's take a look at the next game here. We're going to have now the Dragonair Seizo after having a really horrific lead. But in comes now the opponent's Altaria, and I feel like I might be able to get a shield advantage here or get them low. Let's take a look at this. They're actually going to be able to just knock me out, farm me down. And yeah, that's not really ideal for me, right? I can go into my Lickitung. They will be able to go for the charge move here. And it's not really looking too good as they even get to the Moonblast here as well. But yeah, this team got to rank 1 in the world. Otherwise, they had a team that has the exact same back then that they played. But with Auroras in the lead as an alternative. Or they also played um, the Dragonair in the lead. And the most likely say swap of the uh, Shadow Gyarados with Dragon Breath. Which is also a Pokemon that I would have loved to showcase. I think I'm kind of missing the time for that. But yeah, let's take a look here at this team for now. We're going to be able to now farm down the Mage Him. In comes a Dragonair. We have lower health than the opponent here. But honestly, Altaria just doesn't care. And the Dragon Breath down is going to go for us as we were able to win this game here. Let's take a look at the next opponent. Frost is in the lead. Fairly decent for us. It's kind of where we want to have it. But you see already, this matchup is not really that good for you as well. Because, um, yeah, Lick is not going to do enough damage. Body Slam is going to be double resisted. So you're kind of forced to go ahead and go for the Power Whip. Which they're going to shield up. And I'm going to swap out now into my Dragonair. Which allows me to farm them all the way down here if they want to stay in. But they're mostly going to swap out here. But they're going to swap out into a Lantern. This is fairly decent for us. So we can go ahead and go for another Body Slam. I have to keep my shield alive, I think, for the opponent's, um, yeah, other Pokemon there for the opponent's lead of Frosters, so I can maybe shield up an Avalanche later on. But here, I'm still going to be able to go for another charge move here to knock out the opponent Lantern. I wouldn't have been able to farm down, they would have got to the surf in time. And we can now see what's coming in. It's going to be the Frosters again. I'm going to try to farm all the way down now with my Licky Tongue. It didn't work out, they can still get to an Avalanche, and here you see already Avalanche plus Powder Snow is just so strong in this current meta. But they're going to have a Cradelli in the back, a Rock-type Pokemon against my Flying-type Pokemon, Shadow as well. So the rock side is going to do a ton of damage, but not enough to really threaten me. Because I will be able to outspeed them to get T2 Sky Attacks. And with the Dragon Breath damage, Altaria is going to be strong enough to destroy this Cradelli here. As we will be able to win this game. And again, you see some lag there. I had a lot of times crazy lag. And I'm going to explain also sometimes where I misplayed based on the lag. Sometimes you just don't see it because the gameplay, of course, is on YouTube always double speed. So the frame tops are kind of not as visible as it is in the when you actually play. But you see actually always like a little bit of a small delay even here just now for the licks from the um, Licky Tank against the Crystal. Yeah, there were some delay. I don't know. I hope the internet can fix it eventually. Like it's definitely neither my internet or my phone. It is also really inconsistent, which is interesting. Like there's no real consistency see why this is the case. I was talking a little bit about this with other people as well. Some have the issue, some don't have the issue. It's not just a pure Android bug. We don't know what it is. But yeah, we're going to now have the um, Medicham against the, uh, um, yeah, our, what's called our Dragonair. And you see me here shielding up an obvious uh, power punch. It was only five counters, but I wasn't sure because when I swapped into my Dragonair, I had some lag and I didn't know if the opponent got an extra counter through. And this really impacted the game right now for me. Which is really sad to see because, they, yeah, the state of the game, at least for me, is not really ideal. I see also a lot of people that don't have any issues at all. I don't know why it's me. I have literally one of the newest um, Android phones and it is so horrific. And sadly, that's going to lose me the game. Yeah, I would have been most likely able to win this game if I just were able to actually count the counters from the opponent's main gem and didn't have the frame drops. But this is how it is, as you're going to now be able to know and now go into the next game. And yeah, let's take a look at the next opponent. We're going to encounter a horrific lead of Nocta. I remember this because this was actually the first battle that I played with this team here. So I was a little bit fresher with this team here as well. 
didn't really know what to do. But Nocturne Elite is of course horrific for the Licky Tongue and we're gonna get out the Vigoroth. And I really didn't want to battle against Vigoroth, so like this, I'm going to actually shield this move up because I know that I kind of really want to realign, which will most likely never happen because the Vigoroth can uh, basically just go ahead and shield this move up and realign themselves, but they didn't. So I'm a shield down, but I'm totally happy with that because now I can align my Pokemon correctly. And as you're going to see here right now, they're going to have a Kofik Regis in the bag, which is really good for us as we're going to now see that we can go ahead and go into our Lickitung. In comes now the Noctowl. And this will be fairly decent for us as we're going to now be able to go for the sky attacks. And I should be able to outspeed the opponent um, to the next sky attack before they can go for three charge moves against me. And they're going to go for the sky attack first. And I think they realize right now, okay, another sky attack will not knock me out. I don't get to three. So they're going to go for the shadow ball, which does a little bit more damage, but was not enough to knock me out. And like this, we're going to be able to win this game. Now let's take a look at the next opponent. We're going to have a Dragonite in the lead. As I'm going to swap out into my Dragonair, we're going to get out the opponent's Licky Tongue here right now. And I can do some damage against them here with just the Body Slam spam. That's going to do a ton of damage against the opponent. And honestly, most likely this shield was a mistake by me. I most likely should just let this move go through, go back into my own Licky Tongue, get a ton of energy, go for some um, Body Slams, and just store those energy here, but at least I'm going to be able to realign, but this will still allow the opponent to go for a charge move with their Dragonite. And as you can see, either I can choose to get a superpower onto my Licky Tongue, or I can get a Dragon Claw onto my Altaria. I rather want to farm down here with my Altaria, so that's what I'm going for. But they're going to have a double in the back. That's going to be still a close battle here, because we're still going to have two Pokemon against them, and double is doing mainly damage with Body Slam against my Altaria and mainly damage with the Double Kick against my Lickitung. So I was able to at least take a Body Slam here onto my Lickitung, which is definitely the play to go, as we will be able to reach a Body Slam here against them as well. Maybe gonna get the shield from the opponent? Let's take a look. We do not, but they're going to now go ahead and try to knock me out. Great timing by the opponent here. CMP tie against me. And this boy is going to send me away here, but we still have our Altaria. And as long as we're going to be able to survive two charge moves from the opponent, we should be fine. Can we survive another body slam here? It is just barely enough to survive and we can farm down after again having some lag. I was literally scared at the end there that I didn't get my Dragon Breath through. But it worked out well. Another horrible lead. Honestly, I didn't really have any great matchups with this team here where I was like, okay, completely hard countered the opponent. Mainly, I got hard countered but still came back with this team, which is, I guess, a good sign, right? We can use a shield against the Frosters here, but I'm not going to do this. I'm going to try to get the shield advantage and just farm them all the way down. I know that they're going to go for one Avalanche here, which is harder hitting than, for example, a Psychic from the Medicham. But I just want to basically get some damage onto the mini champ, want to get some energy here, want to keep my shield advantage and want to swap out into my Altaria. And then this will allow me now to shield up the Ice Punch coming through from the opponent, which would of course do a lot of damage because it's double super effective. But now we're gonna get out the Lantern here, where we can just go ahead and go for the Moonblast. Boom! Gonna do a ton of damage and no debuff here for us, 10% chance to debuff, of course you don't really expect it to be. But now we can go ahead and shield up the Thunderbolt from the opponent, which is going to do a ton of damage. And I thought, I can just farm them all the way down here, right? Turns out, I am fairly wrong, because I can still get to a move here. I'm going to be able to catch this move here at least onto my Licky Tongue. And I can try to go for one Body Slam here, and I don't get there in time. And you didn't really see it there as well again, but I had a little bit of lag there when I tried to throw my Sky Attack. And this lag allowed the opponent to sneak another move through, which is going to let me knock them out, like let them knock, knock me out here. While I would have been able to get to another move, I'm not sure if not the um, Medicham would have been able to win CMP, so I'm not sure if I would have won it anyway. But like those small legs that you don't even always see because of the double speed, it's just so annoying right now. It's just really annoying. But yeah, we're going to have an Hexorus now against us in the lead. I expect them to run a triple dragon, to be fair. So I'm going to be able to get a shield here and I can swap out into my Dragonair. And the Dragonair is just doing so much damage. Allowing me to get to another body slam against the opponent's Dragonair here. And I'm even going to be able to knock them out in time. Allowing me to realign. And yes, they're running double, uh, yeah, triple, triple dragon here, basically. Which will allow me to get into my Licky Tongue. Trying to do some damage against them here. I'm going to use my shield here as well because I know that I'm going to get to another body slam. And I just want to get them low. I know that the opponent's Hexorus should not be able to get to another charge move against my Altaria because of the Dragon Breath damage there. So we're going to be able to get the final shield by the opponent, get the opponent's Altaria super low. I can use my shield here. It's most likely a Moonblast from the opponent, and it is. And I will be able to farm down the Hexorus in time. 
So like this, we're going to be able to win this game. And this was a very good game. Well, let's take a look at the next opponent. We're going to have the Licky Tang against a Lantern. Fairly decent matchup for me, but my backlands matchup are a little bit better as well. The Dragonair matchup is definitely a fairly decent one for us. I'm actually going to shield up the Thunderbolt here because I know it's still going to do around like 60% health. And as it didn't swap out, I expect them that they're going to be fairly weak against me in the back. I will be able to go for one body slam and they're going to go straight for the move here. This means it's only a surf, which is really decent for me. Because now I can realign, I have energy, I will be able to go for a body slam here right now. And I will also be able to go ahead and go for another one. No, I cannot. I can go ahead and go for my Altaria though. And I should be able to farm them all the way down here. As they go for another Moonblast most likely. We are two shields down again, but we still have two Pokemon left. Let's see what they're going to have in the back there though. We want to see that they're going to have a Kingdra in the back. And this is going to be a very, very close match up here. I'm going to swap out now into my Licky Tang. Of course, I can just go for the Outrage though. And Outrage is going to do enough damage to nearly knock me out here. But I'm going to be able to outspeed them to a Body Slam. They're going to use their last shield here, which is definitely a smart choice. As now I will have to take the Outrage. It doesn't knock me out, but put them into farm down range there. And I have to try to get to the... Sky attack here, but let's see, we're gonna still be able to get there, but is this enough health still left for us to farm down the opponent's lantern? Yes, it is, and we survive this with the 1 HP in a dream. Let's take a look at the next opponent. We're going to have a Surfage in the lead here. We're going to be able to swap out now into the Dragonair, and we're gonna do, do a lot of damage, but I didn't really remember how much um, energy they got there, but I think they have a move start right now. And honestly, this game really bugs me because I play this really bad. And you're going to see it now anyway. They're going to shield up the move from my Dragonair, which is a smart choice by them. And they're still going to go for another charge move here. I feel like this might be a range where I can just lick them down. And of course, my Licky Tongue has a less of a play against the Fighting type Pokemon compared to my um, Atari in the back here. I'm also going to get out the Such Rave here. I'm going to build up to the two body stamps here. And I'm going to swap out now into my Altaria, trying to catch a Brine, which works out really well for me. So far, so good as well. But now in comes uh, Cresselia. And Cresselia, of course, especially with the extra damage from the Toxapex, going to have a great time against the Altaria as the Moonblast is going to be super effective. And they don't really take too much damage from me. So at this point of time, I kind of try to go ahead and try to win my game with my Licky Tongue. But, oh, two things already. I lose my final shield there, which is really stupid because, of course, my uh, the opponent's Surf Edge still has a move stored. I will be able to catch the move here, which is really decent for me. But I expect them to swap out immediately because they have the move stored. And this was a mistake because now, as you're going to see right now, the body stem is going to go directly onto the Cresselia. And my opponent makes a great play here by catching the move onto the Toxapex after going already into the Surfetched. They had a move start already, so I was like, okay, this should be definitely fine here that they're going to swap out there immediately. But I just over predicted. I could have farmed on the Cresselia, but I was pretty sure that they're going to swap out, especially as I didn't have a shield left. So this was a 50 50. I don't really, I don't really think I'm really mad at myself playing it like this. I feel like it was more likely that they swap out immediately that they didn't, but so be it. Totally fine. Good games to my opponent. Very nice catch on the Toxa picks though, so definitely worth it for them. Definitely decent gameplay there. Let's take a look at the next opponent here. We're going to have our favorite mirror, the Licky Tongue mirror. I'm going to let the opponent go for another charge move. I want to keep my energy around here because I feel like Body Slam is not going to do too much against another Licky Tongue here, so I'm going to swap out instead into my Dragon Hand. We're going to get out the Frosters. This will allow us to go for an Awkward Tail. This Awkward Tail is going to go ahead and do some fairly decent damage against them, but they're going to shield this move up anyway, and I'm not going to be able to get to another move here. But I'm still going to shield this move up because I'm already on the move, so either going to be able to get switch advantage here or the shield advantage and I'm going to take the switch advantage here as they're going to go ahead and go back into their Licky Tongue. This should allow me to farm them all the way down with the Altaria. Now it just depends on what they're going to have in the back. Is it going to be something that's weak to our Altaria? It's most likely not going to be another Ice type Pokemon because they already had an Ice type out there. So what does it going to be here? Let's take a look at this. It's going to be a Galissa pot and this is so amazing for us. As you're going to see here right now, we can go for the Sky Attack and we should be able to outspeed them in time as well. As you're going to see right now, the opponent gonna go for the Liquidation. They don't get the debuff against us. We can go for the Sky Attack and this should be it for this one as he can go ahead and now swap into our Licky Tongue, snipe them with a the body slam. And yeah, this is going to be it for today's video. This is the rank one in the world team right now. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Would really appreciate it. There are two videos on the screen. Check them out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.